Hey guys, really excited for this video today that I'm sharing with you because I have a new way of sending both admin notifications as well as subscriber broadcasts to a completely new channel introduced to Chatrace recently. So Chatrace now has an option where you can send and create bots, send messages and create bots for Telegram. So what this means is you can you now have a way to reach both admins and your subscribers outside the 24 hour window that Messenger limits you to do. So you basically have all the advantages of Messenger but then inside your Telegram bot. And this is how it works. So let's just cover the admin notifications first. I only have this action block and this action block contains two steps. I'm going to set a custom field which is a bot field called admin notification with the text, this is just a test to see if admin notification works. Then after that, we are going to make an API call. Sounds really, really scary, but it is really not that bad. And that API call is only going to send a flow. And this is the flow I'm going to send. So send admin notification. And this admin notification is that bot field, right? So that's the bot field we are going to set inside this first step. And let's test this out to see how it works. So soon as this custom field has been set, we are going to the API call. The API call will have a request type called post. And then because I'm on my white label, I will have this base URL. So api.appcontx.com. For regular chatrace users, this will be api.chatrace.com. Then from here, we will have the slash user. And then we have the value for user ID and then we have slash send and then slash the flow ID for the header. We will have X access token and you can copy and paste this variable system variable because it's not available inside of um, inside of the selection of variables. So if we take a look page API key is not available. But if we do it ourselves, so two opening brackets, page underscore API underscore key, and then two closing brackets. So this will be your system variable to fetch your API key. And if it's the first time you're using it, this same variable will generate the API key for you to use. And that's basically it. So how do we get the user, um, the user access token, right? So the user ID. So that is pretty simple to do. Soon as you find, soon as you find your Telegram subscriber you want to send an admin notification to, you will have the following option. You can grab the user ID from the URL on top by going to user ID equals and then you will have the value, or you can grab it from the user ID section right here. You can copy this and go inside the external request and just paste that in. That's step one. To get the flow ID, you can just go to your flow inside the flow builder and in the URL on top, you will see flow.php uh, question mark ID equals and then a value. And this is the value you will need to have. So this is your flow ID. You can just copy and paste this in at the end and then your external request is done. So let's test this out and see if we get a notification on our Telegram account. So let's publish this and let's see if setting this admin notification bot field. So this is just a test to see if admin notification works is going to be sent through this flow by this API call. So let's press preview. There we go. Takes a few seconds and then I'm getting a notification. This is just a test to see if admin notification works. So now that we know that admin notifications work, how can we send broadcasts to our subscribers inside of the chatbot, right? So this can only be done if there are an active subscriber on your Telegram chatbot. So there's no way around that because they need to opt into this. But once they, uh, once they did, there is, a, there is a way to broadcast to them. Because if we take a look now at broadcast, new broadcast, 
and we're going to select the purpose of the message, you will not see Telegram added yet. This will be done in due time, but at the moment we do not have a way to broadcast to Telegram users. So the way to do this, and let's cancel this, so go to users and then filter them out. And the filter will be current channel. And the current channel should be, as you might have guessed, Telegram. At the moment, it's only just me because I'm just testing the Telegram bot out at the moment. But using this filter, we can send a broadcast. And this works like following. So if we, um, let's duplicate this tab. And let's go to the rules section. So just type in rule and then we'll get to triggers and actions. From here, I will have a rule called send telegram broadcast. If we press this and edit, you will see that the trigger is tag applied. So tag applied telegram broadcast. And once this is done, I'm going to send this exact, exact same flow this one, which I just did for admin notifications by an API call, I'm going to send this flow to the subscribers. So let's change the message and let's say this is a subscriber broadcast. And let's publish this. So as you can see, uh, this setup is a workaround to send Telegram broadcast. So let's press save. Let's make sure that the rule is still set to active and then go to the user list, select all your Telegram users, right? Then go to actions, add a tag and the tag will be Telegram broadcast. There we go. So we're going to press continue. And as you can see, it will give a summary of how many users this tag will be applied to. This moment is just me. Let's press continue. Let's wait a few seconds and let's see if we get the message. And as you already saw, this is a subscriber broadcast. So although we don't have a broadcast option for Telegram, we can still have a workaround by creating a rule and then sending the flow that way to all Telegram users. So the only thing is that after you've sent it, you also need to provide the action remove the tag so and that will be telegram because otherwise the next time you want to send the, this telegram broadcast out you will not be able to do so because the subscriber already has this tag so make sure that the tag has been removed as well after you sent the broadcast so but how cool is this that you can now send admin notifications reach your subscribers outside the 24 hour window. So without the limitations of your messenger bot at any moment in time. So you do not have to worry about those limitations. You can just reach them at any moment in time without using SMS, without using WhatsApp, which currently are paid versions. And you could send an email, but a message through Telegram is much more engaging. And a lot of users already have Telegram and otherwise you can just opt them in to download it to their phones or to their tablets, whatever they want to. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you do. Please consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you will get notifications soon as a new video goes live. For now, have a great day and I will talk to you soon.